university by its nature is universal. Uh, we've got students, we've got faculty, we have staff, we have alumni, supporters, and everyone has a certain interest in, uh, in the success of the institution. Well, almost instantly, um, there was an increase in uh, safety. Um, and, you know, as an associate dean of students at the college, the safety of the students is one of my primary concerns. And so that, that was almost an instantaneous um, uptick, um, especially in the, in the outside light areas. I think if uh, you take a look at lecture rooms, for example, I think they're uh, brighter for the students taking notes in lecture classes. And my own personal experience has been that if there are needs for change, uh, they've been able to communicate those needs to Helios and they've come to address those needs. Well, there are many, many benefits. Uh, the, the greatest one's probably the higher quality of light. Using less amps, which will be a positive benefit to the budget as a whole. The longevity of the light of LED, it'll be several times over the life expectancy, so we will not be spending labor at all in changing lights like we have historically. Well, I think probably the single biggest thing is just the appearance. Uh, when you look down, you know, either in offices or down hallways, uh, everything is brighter and crisper. But I will say, several faculty members have come in and finally said, well, you made a good choice. And, uh, you know, better than the normal boneheaded stuff that you do, this was a, this was a good idea. I think we're at a point um, in higher education everywhere where the key word is innovation. When Chris came to us with this idea, um, I, I wasn't sure, we weren't really sure what this might mean for, for Concord, but we were willing to listen. I think what was really core to um, this project is it was highly complex. Uh, we had buildings built in the 40s, the 50s, the 60s, the 70s, the 80s, and so on, right up until just recently. And the lighting technology was very, very complex and um, probably might be our most complex project we ever have done and, and might ever will do. Um, so that was very challenging. Uh, so with that challenge uh, also came an opportunity to get it right. So we spent quite a bit of time trying to be certain we we're making a decision to move forward that would serve Concord and its students best. So the next step was to run it up the chain of command. And if you think we're the top of the chain, you're, you would be wrong. So we began to work through the regulatory agencies here in the state. You know, the state of West Virginia had never really had something like this happen for them. And so there was a whole process that we had to go through, not only, not only for the institution, but we kind of had to help the state work its way through um, this kind of a project because no one had done it, uh, you know, at the, at the college level. Probably six months later after asking several times, I said, you know, how's the project doing? And it was, well, it's in the attorney general's office. Really? Yes, it was. They had never seen a proposal, I think, so innovative and that solved a problem in this way. And they didn't quite know what to do with it. So I'm going to say something to uh, Chris here, and that is, thank you for your patience. There was good patience there in helping us work through those. There was a lot of small and large hurdles that had to be overcome, a lot of reworking of contracts and languages. Um, and so there was a patience to work through all that and really not give up. Since I'm the, the finance guy here, a, a lot of my concern was 
Uh, is, are, are we going to have the savings that, uh, that have been uh, not necessarily promised, but the expectation was there? You, know, you like to save energy. Um, you like to have light bulbs and light fixtures that you're not always repairing, replacing. Um, so it, it enables your, your work crews, your electricians to do significant work instead of constantly replacing light bulbs. We have a lot of, of workers and I don't follow them all around so I don't always know what everybody does. But I didn't know we had somebody that started on one end of campus at the beginning of every year to replace light bulbs and he just moved across campus the rest of the year. He no longer has to do that. He's going now to be able to do the things that we need him to do in other areas. So I'm very thankful that, that this project allowed that. It was pretty apparent to me uh, early on in the conversation that, that Chris and Aaron uh, particularly were people that you, you, you felt a, a high level of uh, comfort and trust, that what they were telling you was, was straight up. And, uh, and of course, like Aaron says, you know, Chuck, it's all just arithmetic on, on the, in this uh, LED world. But you know, but lighting is more than that, right? It's more than safety and security and energy savings and maintenance savings. It's, it's about improving performance. It's about improving acuity. So in the classroom, uh, we know that the lighting is 30, 40, 50% higher than what it was. But not only is it higher, it's, it's clearer. Uh, the LED technology is crisp, there's little to no glare, which means that literally the words in the books and on the paper jump off the page. And I, I just know that retention, I know that test scores will be positively influenced uh, by the increased and better lighting in the classroom as well. The classroom lighting is a great improvement. I mean, the hallways look spectacular in many cases, as opposed to the way they looked before. You know, you. In some cases, I thought, well, this is a pretty dingy home, and then I would order it painted, I would order the floors cleaned, um, and it would look pretty much the same. Um, and then with this lighting, you can, you can actually see it. Well, the walls look pretty good, or the floor looked good. I, I guess it was the lighting that really made it look not as good. One of the initial things they did were the academic buildings and just walking down the hallways, that was remarkable. I'm always concerned about, um, in the evening, the safety of the hallways. Um, quite frankly, they were dim before, but I think now they're bright and, and uh, people can see at a distance all the things that they need to see for safety concerns in the hallways. Also, the parking lots, I think, are now going to be much more safe in the evening. We have students who are commuters and who come only in the evening. Uh, I think this is going to give them reassurance about the safety on campus. Just the other night, myself and my immediate superior met the principal at Helios out on one of the parking lots, and they recently changed the majority of the exterior lights. The difference in the light that we're getting now is actually indescribable. You know, we have a we have more than 400 you know, safety cameras on cam all over campus. And many of them are, you know, on the tops of roofs and, and looking into parking lots and sidewalks. And so when you have the ability to light, you know, effectively brighten those areas, um, it also just instantaneously improves your camera views of the various places on campus that you, where you most need them improved. The look at the at the at the North Towers parking lot uh, was a was a, a wow. I mean that the uh, the transformation is incredible. Uh, the principal at Helios did uh, provide us with a video they took of the day that the night that they completed that project and had it on how it was historically and then turned the switch to the new lights and it was it was remarkable. And once again, this is done with much less amperage, uh, much more lumens, uh, foot candles on the ground are easily a hundred fold over what they were prior to this project. 
as, as someone whose job it is, is to keep resident students safe and secure, in my view, the biggest thing that's happened is just the lighting of the campus appropriately and the safety that that brings with it. Especially in the evenings. We have lots of events, we have games, we have classes, and having areas that were once dark be lighted and um, make people safe, feel safe to walk around is incredibly important to us. The safety and security of our students is always our primary concern. This really has helped to create a more safe environment. We know that the students feel safer. We know that the, the staff feel safer walking at night to their car, and that was a big part of this project. I've had a few comments from students commenting positively on the lighting. You know, one thing that was interesting to me is I did have a few faculty members, and normally those people are, are the first to be fairly critical of, of what we do, how we do it. Whenever there's change, Whatever that change is, there's going to be a handful of people that don't like the change. And you know, when you work on a college campus, there's you know over 2,000 students. There's more than 300 employees. There's going to be a handful of people that think the new lighting is too bright or too shiny or you know. But the reality is, so many of the students and faculty have you know commented to me that. The classrooms are so much better lit now, uh, and it's easier uh, for the students to, you know, see the things they need to see and, and interact with their professors. From a selfish point of view, let me say my office was the number one concern that I had personally. When the lighting was first changed over, I said that it was not as bright as it used to be, and they came and took a look at it, and there were two reasons. One was the color of the walls was actually making it look dimmer than it was supposed to be. And the second thing was that they actually needed to put another light in over my desk. And now I have more light. And by the way, I expressed the, the concern one day and it was already fixed by the next day. The offices, I've noticed in a lot of offices, the lights are on on a half because the lighting is, is fantastic and people are, are you know more than have more than adequate lighting to do their jobs just by cutting on half the lights so I'm looking forward to those savings and even places like the library where you know you would go in there and you know sometimes I had to struggle to see what books I wanted um, even though I knew exactly where they were I was still struggling to kind of see them um, on the shelves you know, none of that happens now. And I think those small things really add up to, you know, a much better experience overall. The, the basketball arena and the volleyball court and the dance studio, you know, these are, these are areas where the students come uh, to get the best out of themselves, to, to challenge and to grow physically and, and, and skill-wise. And quite frankly, the, the, the illumination was very low and the glare was high. And now it's just pristine and we've, we've raised the standard of illumination to exceed NCAA Division One standard. And I'm so happy that we were able to do that for the kids. I was in there the other night with one of the basketball players and his eyes got real big because he could see the rim. And there was actually light on the rim now. So I'm expecting Concord's basketball points per game to go up, everything to be better because of that. Volleyball as well. So. Um, you know, the athletic facilities, helping that be better for them is, is, is huge. When I came here about 20 years ago, we didn't have a fitness center. And a few years before that, we had closed a dining hall in our largest residence facilities. So this large space was just sitting there and nothing was happening in it. And so we set about building a fitness center. But the problem with the fitness center was it had beautiful natural light, but once it got dark at night, it was very dark. The fitness center had a tall ceiling to it, um, and there was many lights in the ceiling. They were difficult to access. In many cases, you needed a lift. Consequently, over the years, you would wait till 10 or 12 or 15 burned out before you would even go get the lift. So for me, you know, being able to light the fitness center it brought so much light to that area, the light was appropriate. It had a personal thing with me because I helped make that fitness center and put it there. There are two pieces on campus that I took a real strong personal interest in. The first is there's a monument 
uh, as you come on campus to one of the fallen Civil War heroes. The tradition, uh, it, it goes all the way back to the after the Civil War, where veterans of both the North and the South as part of reconciliation formed this institution and, and went to school here and learned together. So that monument, I think, is a very important part of the tradition and history of the campus. And now it's, it's lit beautifully. And, and secondly, as you come onto the campus further, there's the wonderful Veterans Park, where stands the state flag, the national flag, and the POW flag. And now that is beautifully lit. And I know that current veteran students and future veteran students and all American students that come here, and, and I, think, I think our allies and friends will, will cherish that new park and, and the, the way it's lit up for everyone at night. The partnership that we developed with Helios was actually very beneficial to both parties. Uh, the communication line has been remarkable. We have had uh, project meetings every Tuesday. Uh, tell us where we are, where we've been, any problems, it has been immediately communicated to us. They're very efficient. Uh, I noticed that instead of having everything pulled apart all at once, they actually concentrated on certain areas and did all the things that they needed to do with the minimum of disruption. Chris was on top of that stuff, and they made sure that they phased this thing so that it was a minimal disruption. I would tell you that if you have a question about lighting, he knows the answer more than, you know, more than you would ever believe anybody knew about it. So thank you for that. You know, if anything, I think Helios has um, overperformed. Uh, from, from beginning to end. It's, it's been, Chris is like a machine when it comes to uh, getting the project up and running and going. And, and I'm very proud of the work Mr. Nelson and the Helio staff did to accomplish such a great result. Thank you, Chris, for the fine work on a very successful project. We appreciate it. And I really believe that with our team and the design and the level of effort we put into making it right, um, I don't believe that another company could have done what we did for these, for these fine folks here at Konkin, and we're very proud of that. We're, it was a partnership along the way. The faculty, the staff, the administration here were just superb partners, and I, and I think the end result shows that. This campus is an old campus. Uh, and that's part of its charm. It's a, they call it Campus Beautiful, and it truly is a beautiful campus. Uh, what we were able to do is working with security and the staff is not only make it beautiful at night, but also make it a whole lot safer and a whole lot more secure. It, the difference is almost night and day. <laughs>